There's a real diversity of, of architecture in Winnipeg that I don't think you see in other cities in North America, especially Canadian cities. When you come here, you really experience this great texture of architecture that's been preserved all the way through. And you see great examples of old buildings, mid-century buildings, brand new buildings. It's really a, a great mixture that people aren't expecting. Whenever I travel across Canada, everybody talks about Winnipeg architecture being something that's, that's, that seems to be brewing. And, you know, they're not, nobody's able to put a put a finger on it and say this is what's happening, but the, uh, they're all thinking something is going on in Winnipeg. You can see another renaissance, a resurgence of sort of quality design and architecture in the city and that they connect with people on an emotional level, right? They do not leave you ambivalent about what it is. And the, but they're not just being loud for, for sake of being loud, right? They're, they're all, I would hope to think that they, they're smart enough to, to, so people can relate to them. It's a real city of neighborhoods and it's a real tight community because we're so isolated and I think that's really fostered a real creative community. You know, we have great music, lots of great writers, artists, and architecture is really becoming the next piece of that. At the Forks of Pedestrian Bridge was one of the first times that we built something that was sort of design focused. It was more than just the pragmatic pedestrian bridge that could have been attached as a sidewalk to the side of the automobile bridge. We sort of took it and made it something more and, and said we want something greater for the city. People are amazed when they come to Winnipeg, I think. There's, we're a bit of a hidden jewel 